This is the brand new cellular communication device 15 Pro, and we're about to talk about it with M Review for Motion VFX. On to the tutorial. Once you have downloaded MReview via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions as well as your effects and your titles. If you skim over any of these, they will give you a real time preview as to what the plugin is doing. To apply, simply click and drag onto the clip that you would like to affect. I'm going to retime this here. We're using our button. You can see that you're immediately presented with some on screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. So I'm just going to kind of set this over to the side here. Then over in our inspector, we have our animations in and out along with the position, rotation, and scale and blend mode. We also have our title that you can toggle on and off. If you would like to make any changes to your font or colors, etc., you would do so beneath your title section. You can add a shadow if you'd like. Then you can see we have a bar that we can toggle on and off. We also have the height, width, roundness, etc. Then there's this bar mode where you can come in and you can either fill or do the outline there. I really like the fill, that looks great. We can change if we want a gradient or a solid color there along with all of those color parameters. And then we can toggle our cursor on and off, as you can see here that kind of animates in. We've got a circle or default. And then beneath we have our neon that we can toggle on and off. So really nice. I'd also like to show that we can use our camera animations and you can do so on top of any other titles so you can see that we've got our button there but let's say that i wanted to do maybe a custom camera move multiple camera zooms a zoom in zoom out i'm going to just click this and drag on top of this clip as well and then you can see that we've got some on-screen controls where we can go in and adjust how much of a zoom we're going to want and you can see that it is also affecting our button there so as you can see it just kind of does a subtle push and then it's going to pull right back out. Of course, we can make that as subtle or as big as we want. Over in our inspector, we have animations, of course, in and out along with speed and smoothness and then your zoom amount and position. So let's continue down and then you can see we have this super cool tracking shot of the phone. Also, shout out to Mr. Nick Golden for being the hand model in this video. Here, let's look at our infographics. So all of these are really, really pretty. You can see we have a lot of different meters. We have different lists that are really cool, really beautiful animations, progress bars. But one thing that I really, really loved in this particular shot was comparison number two here. So I'm just going to click that drag that in on top go ahead and retime and then again we've got some on-screen controls for position scale and rotation along with this additional control that can modify your width and your height there of your comparison chart over in our inspector all of the basic animations in and out we can change the typography here below if you would like and then we have our list here. So I was being silly in our intro. Just change this to a massive 256 terabyte 9K camera. You know, you can just be uh, do all the things with the text here in your list. We can continue down. We have our list color and then our list highlight. So if you wanted to highlight anything in particular, you can see that we have our highlight start line and our highlight end line. So if I wanted all of these to be highlighted, I would simply use my list highlight end. The other thing about this, of course, you could set keyframes and then highlight as you go. So really neat. 
And then below we have all of our bar options as well as you can see there. So you could toggle that on and off if you wanted. You can toggle your bar fill so you can have that um, transparent if you'd like or you can change the opacity. You can really have a lot of fun and all of these infographics are going to have similar options to this so you can really modify this as much as you would like so why don't we continue down let's look at one of our placeholders really quickly so here we can see we've got some intros that are really neat we have a logo option we have another placeholder here just a lot of really cool things we've got a presentation really nice beautifully animated so i've gone ahead and loaded in placeholder number two here so again you've got on the screen control for position scale and rotation over in our inspector we can make any changes to our titles if we would like and then you can see that we have our drop zones and we can adjust how many drop zones we want so here we have six but let's say i only want three Okay, that's great, but then watch what happens. We're going to go ahead, and that's animating over, and it's kind of stopping. Well, what if I want the second drop zone to be centered up? Not a problem. Right here, you can see we have our drop zone group, and you can simply click and drag over and center that up as you see here if you would like. So I'm just going to set that to 50 pixels, and now you can see that our animation comes in. Boom, there we go and then it pops right back out so you are able to modify the position of those you can do your y as well if you needed so let's populate these drop zones really quickly let's go ahead and open up some of our clips here so let's say i wanted to use this clip for example we can come over and just go to drop zone one go ahead and select that clip hit apply clip and then do the same for each drop zone two and three. So as you can see here, drop zone three, the positioning is a little bit off. So I'm just going to go over into my drop zone three pan and I can just position that over a bit. I can scale it if I would like. And there you go. We now have a really cool, beautiful animation for those three things. And then it just animates right back out. All right, so as we move on, you can see I've got two clips here stacked on top of each other. Here, I'm going to use my split screen. So we're just going to drag this in on top. And then you can see that we have a split screen popping up with that shot, along with revealing the content beneath. We have an on-screen control in that split screen that's going to adjust our mask there. And then, of course, we have our animation in, opacity out, etc., along with do we want that to come in from the left or from the right as far as animation so you can see it pops in from the left there i like the right we also have drop zone placement so you've got different options here so if you want that to introduce something you can kind of use it as a transition we've got the bottom right bottom left top right top left etc bottom right works really well for this continue down we have our title and all of those options but i actually want to turn this title off because i'm going to use something else so over back in my title options i've got these different tools here i would like to maybe have a bubble going around one of the lenses so i'm going to click and drag in on top let's go ahead and position that and let's select our bubble with our on-screen control. And we can just quickly highlight that lens there. Really cool. We've got some great parameters over here that you can adjust if you would like. And then I'm also going to use one of the callouts in our typography as we go down. So again, all of these super neat, super cool looking. I love how glowy and beautiful they are i'm going to use call out two for this so let's click that drag it in we can adjust the timing and then i'm going to use my on-screen control here really quickly let's say we're pointing 
there and we're just going to talk about how awesome the camera is. So here, why don't we just change our text really quickly. So we're going new primary camera and we're going to change the text here. So now we are really, really quickly highlighting this. We've got the new primary camera shooting 48 megapixels. We have polarized log options, 4K. Really cool that you see that we can put this together really, really quickly. Last thing I want to do is add some transitions. So I would like to actually compound clip these. So I'm going to click all of those, click option G. I'm going to do the same with each. Then we can go and open up our transitions for M review. And you can see we have a blur. We have a replace, slide, swipe, and switch. So I'm just going to drag these in between. Now, because these are compound clips, it's going to say we have to create a transition. It's totally fine. But let's just grab a few of these, just drag those in. And then we can take a look really quickly. So really cool. We've got this. We've got the push with the title. And then we're just going to kind of blur out with our blur transition. Only two adjustable parameters here for brightness and blur amount. We can also look at our replace. So let's see how that's looking. Really cool. Just kind of pops over. So in our replace, we have frame roundness we have background that we can toggle on and off and drop shadow so here i think i'm going to turn the background off because we are going to black so we're just replacing that boom there it goes really nice And that is about it. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial on M Review. It is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.